just when you saw the show. There's an alarming rise in the number of our people in this country condoning political violence or simply remaining silent because silence is complicity. The disturbing rise of voter intimidation the pernicious tendency to excuse political violence, or at least, at least, trying to explain it away. We can't allow this sentiment to grow. We must confront it head on now. It has to stop now. I believe the voices excusing or calling for violence and intimidation are a distinct minority in America, but they're loud and they are determined. We have to be more determined. All of us who reject political violence and voter intimidation, and I believe that's the overwhelming majority of the American people, all of us must unite to make it absolutely clear that violence and intimidation have no place in America. And third, we believe in democracy. That's who we are as Americans. I know it isn't easy. Democracy is imperfect. It always has been. But we're all called to defend it now. Now. History and common sense tell us that liberty and